When I say midwife, what comes to mind? Perhaps more questions than answers. Well, today's show will give you more than a primer on the practice and why it's just as relevant today as it was just a few decades ago. The leaders of Frontier Nursing University are joining us this week to talk about the institution's 75-year-old legacy as the longest continually operating and largest midwifery program in the nation. With more than 1,500 students currently enrolled, drawing from all 50 states and many countries, Frontier has a campus in Hyden, Kentucky, and administrative offices in Lexington. And I'm glad to welcome this weekend Dr. Susan Stone, a certified nurse midwife and president of Frontier Nursing University, and Dr. Julie Marfell, Frontier's Dean of Nursing and a certified family nurse practitioner, to tell us how Frontier is preparing nurse midwives and nurse practitioners to provide care, especially in rural and underserved areas. Thank you all for being Thank with you. us this coming Thank weekend, you. and we appreciate uh, what you're doing. Congratulations on 75 very blissful years. <laughs> 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 and if we would start with you, Dr. Stone, just quickly tell us about what Frontier Nursing is, the university, and what your mission really is. Okay, Frontier Nursing University, our mission is to educate nurse midwives and nurse practitioners primarily to serve rural and underserved families. We're really trying to make a difference in health care through the use of nurse midwives and nurse practitioners um, and, and providing health care. Yeah, and Dr. Marfell, you used a midwife yourself. I did. And and so you're, you're just an ambassador in all kinds of ways. Tell us why, you know, you would suggest or recommend folks really consider that as an option for them and how you benefited personally. Because you're going to get a whole lot of support and a lot of education to keep you well during your pregnancy and to be there for you when you need it for support in labor, to be there postpartum to answer your questions about having a newborn and about how your body's changing because you go through a lot of changes while you're pregnant and when you've had the baby and then in the postpartum period and they're really there to help you understand what's going on with you. And not just for your first child but for your subsequent children, right? Absolutely. Right. Well, we're going to talk a great deal about frontier nursing, about midwifery, about nursing practitioners and all of that so we do hope that you'll tune in on Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on KET 2 and Sunday at 1 30 p.m. Eastern Time on KET and you can watch online anytime after that on KET.org slash connections. Hope you'll join us.